I particularly want to speak up for women in Northern Ireland who feel that this is, like other issues that affect uh, women and women's health and women's lives, an area that we are lagging behind uh, other parts of these islands. And the dearth of appropriate services is, is a core problem. While many GPs have been brilliant and able to, to guide and advise uh, their patients, we know that primary care uh, is overwhelmed um, and under-resourced. Many people can't get access to their GP or there's uh, inadequate continuing professional development and education uh, for GPs on this issue and insufficient time um, for them to explore and, and, and pinpoint um, some of the, the issues and be able to sort of holistically um, address them. And then, of course, few or no uh, specialists to refer to. Uh, menopause is also very much a, a workforce issue. Um, as of now, about 9 million uh, women uh, will be or, or, or are experiencing the menopause and around 3.5 million of them in the workplace. Uh, policy isn't in place to protect and retain the huge uh, skills and, and uh, experience bank that these women have offered, and, and, and other members have referred to um, this point in people's lives and careers um, when they are particularly uh, valuable, I suppose, for, for the workplace. So this is also uh, an economic issue. It will exacerbate if more women um, are having to leave the workforce. Um, existing issues um, around, for example, the gender pay gap. We're all increasingly aware of the benefits um, in public policy and in decision making and economic activity when women are, are at the table uh, and involved in decision making. There is no doubt in my mind um, that if men experienced a similar universal uh, change, it would be a massive part of political discourse. Yeah. Like other issues, like menstruation, like women's uh, reproductive health, like uh, paid, low paid care work, like the pension uh, changes uh, experienced by the Walsby women, all of these um, issues like childcare, because they do primarily affect women, I think that's one of the reasons that they, they don't reach the top of the policy uh, agenda. I've been engaging with constituents and others about the need for a coordinated uh, approach to support on, on the menopause, one that's, that's uh, funded and joined up between the many departments and, and areas of responsibility that have been identified today, and one that ultimately, uh, hopefully, is underpinned uh, with legislation.